Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Prissy. I know I have not been here in a long time. I've been working on some other things and when you get a chance, I am a small business owner now. My business name is Symphony's Treasures. You can visit the website at symphonystreasures.com. You can follow me on Instagram, Symphony's Treasures. And today I will be bedazzling a pen. It's the pen with the diamond tip. You see a lot of people writing with them. It comes in the velvet pouch. And it also comes with an extra ink refill. Normally, I like to use the SS16 AB crystals. This is one of the finished products. But I'm going to try and do one in the clear crystals. And again, I'm using SS16 stones, which is about, I believe, four millimeters. I'm using my favorite thing, the pick-me-up tool. It has the putty on one side, the pointy tip on this side. This comes out and... It has another end as well. You can purchase this online from Amazon, Walmart sell it. And I like this. You don't have to repurchase it. You can just buy like the putty to refill it. You got to take it apart. It's kind of difficult, but you don't have to keep repurchasing the tool all over again. I think it's about 6 or $7. And I'm using my all-time favorite E6000 glue. This tray that I'm working on, I got this. This is very durable. You see, I got a lot of my little crafting junk in it. And um, I got this from Walmart. Or Michaels, I'm sorry. I got this from Michaels. On sale. Don't remember the price. And I have a couple other things that I've been bedazzling. I do mirrors. I did my Adidas slides. So I do slides, I've done converses, other slides, pins, mirrors, anything. If you bring it, I bling it. That's what I say. And this is the way that I do my pins. I scoop some off. It's different ways that I really do it, but right now I'm just scooping some of the glue off. I'm going around and I'm going to apply the stone. I make bracelets, earrings, everything. Just check me out on Instagram at Symphony's Treasures. Visit my website, symphonystreasures.com. I do custom. So if you want something specific, I can do that as well. I'm also a fan of the Katana tool, which I have right here too. But I'm more so a fan of the pick-me-up tool. And now it seems like, you know, a lot of people are blinging. It's like the new wave. I always like stuff that sparkle. So I said, why not? I started blinging my own stuff first. And then people would see, see it and they would like it. So I started doing it for other people. And the trick about this, the E6000 glue is very strong, so you don't have to use a whole lot. Some people think the more glue you use, the better it'll stick, but it's actually false because you don't want it to clump up. And once you put your stone on, it, it clouds the stone. If you push it down and it gets all around the stone and clouding it, it won't sparkle the same. So you don't have to use a lot. But if you begin to do this, everyone, they start to get their own method of how they do it. So you don't have to use a whole lot. I normally let it set for 24 hours so the glue can, you know, harden. And don't push down. when Once the glue, once you put the stone on it, do not push down. 
because again the glue will come up around the stone and that looks tacky you want your stones to stay shining and vibrant look vibrant I had a lot of people purchasing these pens from me because who doesn't like sparkle I was doing the pop sockets as well. Those are still pretty popular. Everyone loves those phone stands. And once you finish scooping out your glue, close it back up. This E6000 is infamous. It's like always leaking out. And you don't want to waste your glue. I purchased my E6000. Sometimes I get it from Walmart. And I got a huge bundle pack from Amazon. which is probably your best bet. That's a big tube, that's a two fluid ounce. And if you do a lot of small projects, it will last a lot, a long time. Even if you have like, if you're doing like a sneaker or a slide, because again, you're not using a whole lot of glue. But I like to get a lot of my supplies from, if I'm not ordering a wholesale, I like to order from Amazon because I have I'm a prime member so I have the two day shipping. So that works out for me. But everyone's different. I don't know. I need a little more glue. They eat they even have these little baby ones. I'm supposed to be um teaching a class, so I purchased these for my students the small ones so once that goes it's not a big deal i don't want to waste my larger e6000 because everyone doesn't know how to measure how much to use especially when you're new you're new at it i also have the uh the wax pencils they look like this very long it's convenient when picking up the um the stones if you don't want to spend money on these you can get like a bundle pack from amazon or wholesale but i personally like my tools because i do this all the time so i like to have uh, my usual tools that i use Oh, and I finally got these in the mail. You see me using these little green things. They're little trays. It's easy to dump inside, easy to put the stones away because it has a little spout right there. But it's just, it's like little rivets inside. So you shake it like that and the stones turn over because I was using whatever I could or just putting them on my little stand or using the plastic top from something else. And it was just like taking more time to, um, turn the stones over to be able to pick them up to put it on the product that I'm blinging. So those were a godsend when I got them in the mail. I got them in the mail yesterday and I was so excited about it because I couldn't find them. I was looking everywhere for them and I finally found them on Amazon. And it came, it came with a whole lot. I don't remember how, I don't know how many it is exactly. 20 pieces. Maybe for $7 or something like that. Don't remember the price, but... Initially, I got these, the little triangular ones. 
And these are cool too. I can when I teach my class, you know, they could uh use this to put their stones in, but I really fell in love with these green ones. But yeah, these are the little triangular ones. They're just plastic. A lot of a lot of blingers use it. But I prefer these green ones because you shake it and they turn right over and that's a plus for me. And I still do my earrings and bracelets occasionally, but this to me is something that I enjoy doing more than anything that I was making when, when I first started my business. And a little history about Symphony's Treasures. I started it back in 2017. I became an LLC in 2018. I came up with the name because my daughter's middle name is Symphony. And she's my treasure. So that's how I came up with my company name. See how it's coming out? That looks really nice. The crystals look nice and clear. The glue isn't seeping through or anything like that. So if I can, if I can learn to bling, anybody can learn to bling. But I'm also a perfectionist too so you know if it ain't right i'm not selling it i make stuff like as if i'm wearing it or i'm making it for myself I like to provide quality over quantity which a lot of people don't understand and people you know some people just want to have the, the quantity but then it falls apart I just try to give the best quality and customer service. That's very important because you want to have repeat customers. You want them to pass the word on to other people and get more customers. I, I vend. I vend the other night at a, con, a little concert. It was pretty nice. And it's also about networking and knowing your worth. All money isn't good money i learned that the hard way too so it's okay to say no to certain events or certain things it's okay to say no because at the end of the day it's your business and your name is behind it and you're putting yourself out there and on the line so you don't have to do everything <laughs> 